I think what I'm about to tell you is going to make your day. At least, I think it'll make your day a little bit brighter. And that is, um, you were scrolling around and you saw a thumbnail with pink clouds in the background and a smiling daffodil and a smiley face and a rainbow with clouds and a bunch of uh, smiley faces and fireworks and then a little guy in the corner was me going like, hey, everything's wonderful. And he even says happy in the corner and big letters saying, that's so nice. And you opted to click on something like that. And you know what that means about you? It means that your soft, gentle, hopeful, positive, optimistic side is coming out. Now, I'm not trying to troll you. I'm not patronizing. I'm, I'm being quite serious. Yesterday, I posted the exact opposite video. The thumbnail was like all terrifying with like this stark black and white picture of me staring at the camera like, and it, with the words, oh no, exclamation point. And I think the title was, this will disturb you. And after people clicked on it, I said, you know what is disturbing is that you saw something saying this will disturb you and you clicked it like what you want to be disturbed that itself that you would voluntarily disturb yourself is disturbing right but this is the opposite message this is this is great that you chose you opted to choose content that's going to enrich you that's going to uplift you that's going to give you a a brighter look at at life today so this is what i want to tell you uh, that and I don't know if you were part of my little experiment yesterday and you and you clicked on that video or this is the first video you're clicking on. Actually, it says something about you. If YouTube did not surface yesterday's video to you with the scary thumbnail and it did surface today's thumbnail, so it must mean that the algorithm knows that you respond well to happy, uplifting, positive. Uh, images and words. So at any rate, this is what I want to tell you. This, this is what I want to tell you. It's wonderful that you are looking for good stuff. And when you look for good stuff, this sounds like a truism. It sounds like such a platitude, but I'll explain. It's it, there. There's substance here. When you're looking for good stuff, you'll find it. Okay. Yeah, I, I know that sounds very trite, but it's true. Look, um, this is a world where there's beauty and there is difficulty, challenges. Um, our subjective outlook plays an incredibly decisive role in the type of experience that we have in this world. And when we are looking for beauty, we tend to find it. And the more we find it, the more we're able to see it. It's a virtuous circle. Um, and there's a there's a Torah concept. By the way, in yesterday's video, which was the scary video, I didn't share any Torah concepts because I was just sort of speaking to the lowest common denominator, meaning that limbic system that was fight or flight. Oh no, what is this scary thumbnail? But today is the sunshine and rainbows. So I'm gonna share some Torah concepts here in this video. And by the way, when we're all done, we're going to compare and see which one did better. Okay, it's, this is my little uh, experiment over here. Okay, so a little Torah concept, and that is there's a concept of meruba mida toiva mimida pranos, that the attribute of goodness is greater than the attribute of calamity. And not only is it greater, because, you know, 5149 is... A majority, right? But it is disproportionately greater. That as much as there is difficulty in this world, which can't be cannot be denied, we don't live in a perfect world, at least not yet, although we do look forward imminently to the perfect peace and harmony that will be when Mashiach comes. Um, but the beauty and the goodness is disproportionately greater than the other stuff. And, you know, it's interesting. I was talking to a friend of mine who uh, he actually is involved in stocks, and he's pretty good at it. He picks, picks stocks, and that's what he does for, for a living. He helps other people make money off of the stock market. 
So he, he, he asked me a question about, you know, are we meant to enjoy life? And he didn't mean it in a hedonistic way of like, you know, are we meant to sit on the beach and sip pina colada? What he, what he meant is, look, Life is tough, so maybe you just you just face the facts that embodiment is not a a picnic, and that's it. You know that's just the nature of existence is is angst, or or is the, is there beauty in this world? And I said to him, of course there is. Of course there's beauty in this world, and in fact, the very underlying fabric of existence is God's pleasure. God is not compelled by anything. And the fact that he made this world is because he desires this world and he desires to make his home in this world. And yet there's a process and that process involves overcoming certain obstacles and those obstacles are not pleasant. And sometimes they're even quite traumatizing and, and, and terrifying. But the ultimate purpose of this world is to be a place that is the fulfillment of God's ultimate desire. And, and that motivator that, that drives creation is divine pleasure and divine desire. And that's why that's at the fabric of all reality. And that's why ultimately, if you're in tune with reality, you will find that it is the, 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 the most Constant, simple, and pure pleasure is simply to be alive. <sighs> and sometimes we lose touch with that. But the nature of existence itself is pleasure. Again, not in a hedonistic way, but in the sense of being in tune with the fact that the infinite has chosen to express himself here in the finite. So I told this friend of mine that uh, I told you he, he, he picks stocks. And I said to him, you know, look at the stock market. If you buy stocks and just don't touch them, don't look at them, do not check the business section of the newspaper and just come back 20, 30 years later, you're going to do all right. Why is that? Because... Just the general trend is that of growth. So I, I gave him an example from his world to illustrate this as an, ex, as an example of this is the nature of the world. The nature of the world is growth. Yeah, yeah, I know. There are examples of things that break down. There are examples of discord. That's not hard to find such examples. But the general trend is is that things are getting better. If you look at the quality of life of the average human being on this planet compared to 100 years ago, and certainly compared to 1,000 years ago, they're healthier and more affluent than their counterparts from previously in history. Things are always getting better and better and better. And the fact that you clicked on this happy, silly little thumbnail uh, means that things are getting better for you too because the algorithm is now learning that you don't want scary stuff. You want happy sunshine and rainbows and daffodils. And that's what you should have. And not only should you have it, you're going to have it because now that you're looking for it, you're going to find it. So may you have many happy, sweet experiences and may life itself be pleasant for you. And if you want to see the scary video, it's right here. This is the scary video right here. Wait, no, no, I'm sorry. No, right here. Here's the scary video. Scary video right here, but you don't even need it. You can just skip it. All right. Okay.